Hi, I'm Desi Stark and welcome to my channel where we talk about luxury skincare, beauty and lifestyle products. If you haven't had a chance to see my evening skincare routine, please do so. I'll attach it right here. But today I'll focus on the morning skincare routine. And while my evening skincare routine consists of really intense, concentrated, highly active ingredients and products that really cater mostly to anti-aging and reversing the signs of aging. My morning skincare routine is a little bit simplified, it's a little quicker, I'm a busy professional woman so I don't have the time to sit around and apply layers and layers of skincare. But so. it also mostly caters to makeup application, meaning I do want to apply products that are going to be hydrating, they're going to be comfortable and also makeup will sit very nicely on top of them. And of course there's an anti-aging component because everything in skincare that I do is actually very very strategic. No product is out of place. I'm usually very strategic not only in skincare, that's how I am in life and it kind of translates. Now in the morning I actually rotate a lot of different products so I will be showing you three different routines only because I'm very careful on how I combine ingredients and products. I want them to complement each other, I want them to cohesively work together. You can kind of pick and choose which one is more conducive to you, to your budget, to your skin type and etc. I did get that question quite a lot actually are you still using Biologic Recharge products? And yes, I still use Biologic Recharge. Actually, there is one product that I use every morning. I'll show you what that product is. Because after using Biologic Recharge for exclusively for about three or four years, I realized that I need a little bit more. I'm only getting older, so Biologic Recharge for me is not a true anti-aging brand. It doesn't really cater so much to reversing the signs of aging. Now, what Biologic Recharge is going to help you with though is removing surface issues like texture, hyperpigmentation, acne, breakouts. It will also mediate the type of skin that you have. When I started using Biologic Recharge, I had combination skin. Here in the middle I was very oily and then the peripheral was kind of normal to dry. Today I'm sitting in a normal to slightly dry occasionally skin type. So that's why I decided to kind of switch over, find different brands that cater more to reversing the signs of aging in a very active and productive way. I have tried a lot of other skincare, skincare that you don't actually see here. And just because I'm not showing it to you, that does not mean that I have not tried. And I, I, I have been doing this for a very, very long time. I'm obviously only showing you the best, what I think is the best. So my morning skincare routine, whichever one you pick, is going to have the same steps. I always, always, always start with, well, washing my face, but I'm going to skip that step because that's obvious. After I've washed my face, I always start with the lotion P50-1970. This is a constant in my routine. I use it absolutely every morning regardless of what I use after that. And yes, this is my favorite product by Biologic Recharge. I know that there is quite a few different variations. I have tried all of them. I'm sticking with this one because this is my favorite one. And yes, this one contains fennel. I know that fennel is actually a banned ingredient in most of the European Union countries and I believe Canada as well. In the United States it is available. Lotion P50V 1970 also contains fennel. This is my second favorite lotion P50 from Biologic Recharge. This one is a little bit more, it, it's pretty much the same ingredients but it does also contain some, some vitamins. So it, it may be slightly more hydrating. I have tried the other variations, not a big fan. They pretty much don't do anything for me. Step two is always a serum, step three is always a cream and step four is sunscreen. The first routine that I'm showing you right now is probably my most used one. It's easy, it sinks into the skin immediately, it also has some anti-inflammatory benefits, it also has some anti-aging benefits but most importantly it's hydrating and it sits beautifully under makeup. This is my first serum that I apply. This is the Calcium Love Potion number nine. 
I've introduced this product many 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 times and I'm noticing that I use it not only at night I have been using it almost every day actually in the morning as well I find it very soothing to my skin I also find it to sink in immediately you only need two three drops I spread it very quickly sometimes I don't even need to mix it with anything else just two drops and I press it into my skin and it kind of keeps my my skin actually quite clear and plumped throughout the day that's why i love 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 this serum now sometimes if i use it in the morning i don't use it at night this is again a very highly concentrated growth factor serum this is the most concentrated growth factor serum that i have ever met this completely replaced placenta and a few other products that i used to use from biologic recharge now i still repurchase the elastine i still occasionally buy the vg tensile which are the other products that I love from Biologic but this is actually replacing all of them so if my skin is feeling dehydrated fussy kind of sagging or whatever it is this is the serum that I reach to sometimes I'll actually apply a second serum in this routine and it's one of these two this is from Lemieux this is the TGF 8 booster I love this thing I discovered this probably about eight nine months ago it's not an expensive serum it's not overly expensive right it does have a very convenient pipette as well and I simply just press it into my skin it does not have a scent it's actually super hydrating but it sinks into the skin immediately I love this this contains a lot of different things it has peptides it has hyaluronic acid it has a little bit of everything so it's an overall kind of a nice creation and sometimes if I feel like I need the boost in my anti-aging peptides or I need my my Botox if I haven't done Botox in a very long time and I want my lines to be smoothed out then I'll use a little bit of the definitive line serum again this is probably my absolute favorite product ever and I have a lot of really really favorite skincare but this is uh, this is an incredible incredible creation and I think the more you use it the more you notice the difference in your skin and how it's it's actually smoothing all the lines especially these lines which are very very pesky and by the way we all get them at some point in life some people earlier some people later I take a very very small amount just a little pump of this I don't even apply it all over my face I only press it where the lines are so pretty much these lines a little bit around the eyes and a little bit here on my forehead and that's it then I use a, an eye cream I don't even remember the last time I've used an eye serum um, the alter definitive eye cream that I use at night is so concentrated I feel like it stays in my skin for a very very long time but in the morning just because I need some extra hydration I actually use this one by by La Prairie I'm sticking with this one um, I, I, I've noticed that I've been using this uh, pretty much every morning for a very very long time just because it's very hydrating it doesn't really do anything special but it's very hydrating and it's going to over time smooth a little bit but it's amazing for a crazy I've noticed that but super hydrating very very comfortable and my makeup sits beautifully on top of it that's why I love this cream and then I will apply my cream this is the calcium cream I've talked about this this contains in addition to growth factor serum it contains a lot of other great things it contains some lipids and hyaluronic acid and etc so it's an overall great day cream you can of course use it at night sometimes when I use it at night I'll pile it up as a last serum and then I'll apply another cream on top but for the morning this is just a great overall a great cream and then absolutely every morning I do apply sunscreen regardless if I'm indoors outdoors it doesn't really matter and these are my favorite this has been uh, my absolute favorite for for a while now ever since I discovered it this is by Beauty of Josian this has three different UV filters yes it's a chemical sunscreen but there is actually a very large debate if there is harm in using chemical filters I actually came to the deduction that it doesn't really matter there is no sunscreen that's bad for you except for the one that you don't use this is a really really elegant formula it's undetectable on the skin it doesn't interfere with your makeup it's SPA 50 P 
PA with four pluses, which is the highest protection that you can get. And I adore it. Now, if I need a boost in hydration, if my skin is dehydrated and I know that I need the, the drink of water for my skin, which occasionally happens. I do use this one by Sisley. This is from the Sunlayak collection. This is a, a very exuberant product because it's super expensive, but it does have some anti-aging qualities. It's also SPF 50 with one plus. So I think it's an overall amazing product. Routine number two. Step one, once again, I start with the lotion P50 1970, which is a great toner, exfoliator, and etc. It gives you a glow. Step two is the tissue activator serum by MBR. Yes, I'm still using this serum occasionally. I probably do a run for about a month with this serum and then I stop and I switch to something else because you don't need to use it for a very, very, very long time, but it's great for collagen production. This is also amazing and I, I don't do that, but if you do any facial procedures like lasers, microdermabrasion, this is a, a great uh, kind of a collagen booster because it kind of works with uh, with the laser treatment but I don't do any lasers I don't do any of those facials or etc I just love this product then the second serum that I use would be the C Ferulic by SkinCeuticals this is probably the only vitamin C product that I actually like and I don't use it nowadays to be quite honest every day I don't really see the need because I'm using other active products and I think with my evening skincare routine with Alter and also Calcium, I'm noticing that my skin is in such a taut and good condition. It's brighter, it's smoother. So I don't see the need to use it every day, but when I'm using this routine, routine number two, that I actually do use the C Ferulic as well. Then I will apply my eye cream, which is either La Prairie. I also use some Vomont products, by the way, uh, which I, unfortunately, I forgot to bring, but I love almost all of the Valmont eye creams. Everything for the eye, actually, from Valmont is exceptional. Sometimes I will use a Valmont product. And then I'll apply a cream, and if you've never tried anything by Valmont, it is an exceptional line. I do have to point that out. I have tried almost everything, every almost every skincare product by Volmont. As some of you already probably know, the Volmont foundation, um, one of them actually, the, the matte one, is my absolute favorite foundation in the world. It's unfortunately the most expensive foundation in the world as well. But if you've never tried any skincare from Volmont, it's probably the most bang for your buck. Not a big fan of that expression, but I think it's a really good fit here and it's very, very relevant because this is not exuberantly priced. And I just grabbed whatever it's in my travel bag because I like to travel with these. This collection, especially the one that it's in white with the green lettering, this collection is not extremely expensive, but you're getting so much for your money. Everything that Valmont creates, they put a lot of love love of skin into their products. They definitely do. You will see a transformational change immediately. Your skin becomes all of a sudden softer and plumper and just better looking, glowing and etc. Especially this line and I'm talking about the detox cream. I love this thing. This thing is so beautiful. I love applying it. It also smells delicious. I also like the the Prime Renewing Pack. Actually, everything from the Prime Renewing line is absolutely exceptional. I have the Primary Veil. This is more like a creamy fluid. It's exceptional as well. And this is the Detox Cream, also exceptional. So I'd recommend any one of these four products. It's a joy to use them. Your skin feels hydrated and just better looking in the morning. That's why I use them in the morning because they're so comfortable, they're great for makeup, but they also keep you hydrated. And again, the price is not exuberant for what you get. There is definitely return on investment in these. If you've never tried Valmont, anything you pick up from them is absolutely exceptional. And then of course, don't forget as a last step, Sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. Morning skincare routine is a lot about protection. 
And routine number three, of course, I start again with the lotion P50 1970 as step one. Step number two is more of an essence that I use and this is the Skin Caviar Essence Heal Lotion. I've spoken about this product before. Yes, this is sort of expensive, but this is a giant bottle and I started using it. I do put a label when I start using products because I don't want to go over the expiration date, but I started using this product in June of 22 and I almost have half a bottle left. This lasts you such a long time, even if you use it every morning, even if you use it in the morning and at night, it will still probably give you eight months of use. So yes, it's expensive, but, but you are getting what you paid for with this. This is hydrating, it smells incredible. You just simply press it into the skin. That's how easy this product is. So it preps your skin very well. I know the smell, yeah. Nothing really beats the way that La Prairie smells. And no, scent is actually not bad for you unless you're sensitive or allergic. See, I always wonder about those people that avoid scents in everything. Scents usually are oils that are placed in the bottle just for your pleasure. But usually the oil is such a small amount that it doesn't, it cannot affect your skin, to be quite honest. And I always wonder with those people that avoid scents, do they not use perfumes? Like perfume, cologne? Because when you think about it, when you spray a perfume, it's going to go on your face, it's going to go on your skin. So I, I'm just, I don't, that, that's a myth, by the way. If you don't have a reason to avoid a certain scent, no, it's not bad for you. It's such a small quantity, such a small amount. I actually prefer scents in my products because it definitely enhances my experience. So after applying the essence, which by the way, essences only help for the serum, the next product that you're going to apply, it helps that serum penetrate a little bit deeper into the skin. In a way, it serves as a vehicle. So as a first serum, I do use the La Prairie Skin Caviar. See, when I'm using La Prairie products, and you can mix them with any other products, by the way, because they're sort of universal. They're serums, they're cream, the toner, everything from La Prairie, you can combine with pretty much everything else. But I usually, when I use La Prairie, even if it's one product, I like to kind of create a whole routine and use only La Prairie because all the products play very nicely with each other. I have said this before, I consider La Prairie to be kind of the Mercedes-Benz of skincare and it is. La Prairie has been around for a very, very long time. The formula of a lot of their products is still very much unknown. I disagree with everyone who says that La Prairie is too expensive. I think you get the whole enchilada with, um, I don't know why I'm making a, a food reference. I think I'm a little hungry. But what I'm trying to convey to you is that there is a lot of science in, in La Prairie and there is a patented technology, there's a patented ingredients. They're actually the only brand in the world who combines caviar with precious metals. Now this, the blue, everything in blue is obviously uh, caviar, but the other lines, they have three other lines that they combine caviar with a precious metal, either it's going to be gold or it's going to be um, platinum. Now also, I have to say that this serum is, yes, it does work as far as lifting goes a little bit better. You can see a, a difference. You can rely on La Prairie to give you anti-aging benefits overnight. That's not what La Prairie skincare is all about. La Prairie skincare is more about elegant looking skin. I very often call it, I would describe it as the aristocrat skin. Your skin becomes lighter, more unified, just wealthy looking. That's what La over time of course, but that's what La Prairie creates. Not to mention that La Prairie is probably the most comfortable from a morning routine perspective, most comfortable skincare. It sinks into the skin pretty much immediately, but also hydrates very nicely. It's very, very comfortable. I do follow with the eye cream, obviously, and then I do follow with the skin caviar, the, the cream luxe. They do, 
this comes in a in a, a different version that's actually a lighter version i don't find this to be too heavy for my normal skin now if you have oily skin i'll probably look at the lighter version but this is actually perfect for me i absolutely love this cream i've been using oh, it smells incredible i've been using this cream for quite honestly i think i started probably 20 years ago and la prairie is probably the line that i have used the longest in my in my life i think i've mentioned that before on my channel so yes on la prairie again this is the cream and then of course i'll follow up with a sunscreen and these are my three kind of morning skincare routines they're very fast they're very quick but it's enough to keep me hydrated to give me a slight anti-aging benefit mm -hmm. keep in mind that the better quality of products that you use the longer they're going to stay on your skin with retinoids for example retinoids and peptides and growth factors they do have the tendency to stay on your skin for up to 72 hours that's why at night i use a very very kind of active ingredients concentrated skincare but in the morning now i can afford to use a, a lighter version that caters more to protection hydration little anti-aging and most importantly sits beautifully under makeup i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will see you soon bye